Some of the best accessories for your brand new 15 inch MacBook Air. Let's talk about them. Welcome back to the channel. So if you have not been under a rock lately, you know that the 15 inch, brand new 15 inch MacBook Air just came out. People love it. Um, it's just one of the best devices. I think it's gonna sell really well for Apple. So what I wanted to do, to, I wanted to put together five really good accessories for that 15 inch MacBook Air. What are five accessories that you might wanna pick up, might consider, depending on your needs? I have a mix of both premium stuff and some budget stuff as well. So sit back, relax. I'm just gonna do some product showcases. I'm not doing full reviews. I'm just gonna show you the five different accessories for your 15 inch MacBook Air. You might wanna consider it, and I'll have links, all this stuff in the description. So if you wanna do more research and stuff, definitely do that. But let's get into product number one. So number one is probably the best Thunderbolt 4 hub you can get for your 15 inch MacBook Air, right? It's called the Sateki Thunderbolt 4 Slim Hub. And I'll put the box down because I'm gonna show you close-ups. This thing was packaged incredibly well. I mean, just the way Sateki does things, you always get good products, right? Now, the actual hub itself, if I can even find it, it feels like it's a solid block of aluminum here. It's incredible. The build quality, the ports are all solid, nothing wiggles on them. Just, you can tell this is gonna last a really long time for all it's worth, all right? Now on one side of it, it has a it has a Thunderbolt 4 60 watt charging basically cable that'll go into your computer. So this is actually what goes in, it's the host connection into your computer, but it can charge your computer at 60 watts. Then right next to it, it's got a USB 3.2 Gen 2 USB-A port. So it does have a USB-A port at 10 gigabit per second. But on the other side is the business side, right? And this is the side we're all interested in. So it does have a power adapter, and I'll get into that in a second. But then it has three Thunderbolt 4, and those are 40 gigabit per second connections, all right? So you're basically using one of yours on your MacBook, right, to connect this hub in, but then you're gonna be getting, I guess, three or two additional ones, right? So it does give you two additional Thunderbolt 4 ports, three total, and it does give you the USB-A, and, uh, and that's really, obviously, that's what you're doing if you want to connect a bunch of different things quickly, um, you know, that at top speed, this is what this is for. So people that want this know they want it because it's not cheap, right? This is $199. I'll show you pictures over here. So it's going to be a premium Thunderbolt 4 hub, but it's one of the best, I think, that are made out there. A um, couple other things. So it does have this power adapter. So in, in the box, though, it comes with the Thunderbolt 4 cable already, so you have that. Um, but it comes with this power adapter. Now, when you plug it in, it has a 100-watt power brick. And I wanted to show you this. It's kind of substantial, so you want to definitely you know, know what this is about. And this is what powers. It's got a power cable. So you plug this into the wall, and you plug this into the hub, and that will provide the charging to your, to your MacBook. It will also provide, you know, if you need additional power for other devices and charging. I think these are 15 watts each on the outside you can charge out of. So as far as, you know, external monitors and stuff, this should have no problem pushing it. Um, overall, though, like I said, I've tested this on external hard drives plugging into it. I've had zero problems with it. It's just been solid overall. So if you're looking for kind of a lifelong Thunderbolt 4 hub for all your computers for the next five or six years, high build quality, you're going to spend, like I said, a little bit more, 199 bucks, but you know you're getting a quality product from Sateki like they always deliver, and this is just one you want to consider. All right, product number two is by TomTok. It's right here. Now they call this the TomTok 360 Protective Laptop Shoulder Bag. And uh, you can, it's, you know, this will fit your 15 inch MacBook Air. You gotta pick the right size, but it's made perfectly for that. If you pick Mac, just make sure you pick MacBook Air. I'll have a link in the description. So the reason I love this bag, and I'm gonna talk about it for a second, is because the quality of the build on it. It's just, you can't, it seems like you couldn't even cut this with a knife. It's very solid. It has, um, two pockets in the front and kind of a pocket on the back for documents and stuff like that. Um, so two pockets up here for all your mice or whatever you want to bring with you. But it actually, from the side of it, it's your, your MacBook will slip right in here. Now this one I have here is only for an M1, but they do make them for the 15 inch as well. And if I take this out, you can see how it slides in from the top. Now there's something called protective armor on the, on the corners too. And this is what this is known for. Actually, what's the actual name of it? It says corner armor, all right? And so the corners are protected, and I actually did drop this a few times, and if the thing just, you have no problems. Once you put your MacBook in this, you're not gonna worry about it ever breaking. The corners are just completely solid. It, it really hugs it really tight, depending as long as you get the right size. And uh, the, the, the outside of it's waterproof, it's just incredible. Plus it comes with a handle on the top, and then it comes with a strap that you can take off definitely, and I'll show you close-ups of that. I don't wanna make too much noise next to my microphone. So I'm gonna put that back over there. So if you're looking for you know one of the best quality bags for your brand new, you know, let's say you spend 1200 bucks, 1300 bucks, 1400 bucks, you wanna get a bag. This is $40, 41 bucks right now. I'll show you pictures of this on Amazon. It's just overall a great bag. And you can, if you don't like the black, you can get it in tan, blue, 
here and then basically a grayish color as well. So overall, it comes in a couple different designs. Just make sure you get the right size and I promise you, look at the reviews here, 4.7, 13,800 reviews, 13,800. People love this thing, so I promise you, you'll love it too. And if you're looking for one of the best bags out there, this is it. All right, product number three. This is gonna be another premium product, but I like this, and just, just stay with me for a second. This is the Banks, B-E-N-K-S. They call it the Affinity Max foldable laptop stand, and I'll have a link to this in the description. Now, if you look over here, this is $89, all right? Expensive for a stand, right? But you do get some stuff with this, and I wanna kind of explain this. I'm gonna put the box back over here. So why would you pick this up? Well, let's just, I've done a lot of reviews on different stands, all right? And it's sitting over here. Now, I'll show you close-ups up close, but there's some reasons. The build quality of this thing is top-notch. It's the best stand I've ever seen or even felt. The, the aluminum's really, the milling of the aluminum, the, all the spots where it's protecting your MacBook as far as the rubber, everything's perfect there, right? The hinges work perfectly, it can go very low, it can go very high, and it can hold up to 22 pounds. I actually put my iMac on it just to see if it could be an iMac stand, and it holds it just perfect. So that's all perfect. The other reason I like this is, I don't know if you can hear this, I'm gonna dig in here, but listen. Actually, hear that? All right, so it clicks when you move it. Now the beauty of this, and I'll show you, but you can actually move this thing back and forth like this, any angle of your desk, and it's got a very satisfying click to it. It's just engineered really well, right? So if you have it on your desk and you wanna maneuver something around, you wanna get back on the side of the cables, you just spin it, it clicks this little nice satisfying click, and it works really well. So engineering wise, it's a great great stand as well. Um, you know, you can pick up stands for 25, 30 bucks, and they're gonna be more flimsy aluminum, the hinges are gonna be a lot worse, you know, obviously, if you go past them, they might wiggle a little bit. This thing is just solid as a rock. You can almost stand on the thing and it's gonna hold you. It won't, but it's close, and I love it. So if you're looking for one of the best stands and you know, all around, and you're looking for a premium, you know, premium matters to you as far as the look and feel of it, this thing looks incredible, at least consider it. Check out the link, and uh, I guarantee it's a lot of money, but at the end of the day, you'll probably enjoy it, and you only have to buy it once, and you're done. All right, product number four is gonna be a budget product, and I've done a bunch of different things with this company. This is gonna be Mini Supuru. It's hard to say. Yeah, I'll show you maybe a close-up of the box there. But this is, they call this, let me just see here, it's called the USB-C Splitter Hub. Now, the reason you pick this up is the price and the build quality, and it works really well, all right? So I just showed you a Thunderbolt 4 Hub, and those are expensive. This one's only 22 bucks, 21.89 right now, and you can see it on Amazon. This thing is aluminum as well, not the same quality of aluminum as obviously the Sateki, but it's still pretty solid actually. Comes with a USB-C connector on one end, but the beauty of this is you plug this into your MacBook and it gives you four additional USB-C ports. These are only 10 gigabit per second, not 40 gigabit per second, it's not Thunderbolt, but 10 gigabit per second ports, which is great, right? For most people, this is just fine. And then on the other end over here, you do get, I believe it's a, you can actually charge, so it's a 100 watt, you can plug in a up to a 100 watt power source into the end of it over here, and then you can flow through and actually charge your MacBook. So it has that as well, so pass through charging. So this is, again, 22 bucks and it's solid aluminum. You get four USB-C hubs, it's tiny, you can see it. There's no, no additional power that you need unless you actually want to power your device, obviously, you can plug it in. But if you just throw this in your bag and you want those four additional ports for external hard drives or whatever you're using, like a mouse or something, definitely this will work. And uh, I've, you know, this hub over here for my iMac has Mini Supuru. I've used a couple of their products before and they've all worked great, so definitely check it out. I mean, for the money, you can't go wrong with something like this and uh, just check it out. That's all I want to tell you. All right, now if you followed my channel before, you know one thing. I've done a couple of videos on this, but I got to talk about it one last time because this falls into the best product for your new 15 inch MacBook Air. This is the Acasis 40 gigabit per second enclosure for an SSD. So it's an SSD enclosure and it's an M.2 NVMe enclosure. Just keep that in mind, right? And uh, it's 40 gigabit per second. So it is, it's not a hub. It's just like I showed you before, but this holds the M.2 SSD drive in it. And I showed you. The thing about this that's so incredible is if you need additional storage, right, for your 15-inch MacBook Air, let's say you're, you only got two, you know, 256 gigabytes or 512, and you want some additional storage, well, what you can do is you can buy this. Now, this is not cheap. It's 139 bucks, 140 bucks for the enclosure. But when you pair it with something like this, this is the Western Digital Black. This is the SN770, and I've talked about this many times. This is on sale right now for 50 bucks, one terabyte, 50 bucks. It's a fast, super fast drive, Western Digital. So 50 bucks for that. One, what is it, 139 for this, over so about 190, you can add one additional one terabyte of storage to your computer, right? 
The beauty though is, this, just with this combination I just showed you, you'll get about 2,800 megabytes per second. 2,800 megabytes per second. Think about that for a second. So if you're thinking about adding additional storage, you can say, well, I can always add a lot cheaper storage, or it's never as fast, I should just add it to the system. With something like this, this is just as fast as the 512 uh, gigabyte storage directly on the Mac, almost 3,000 megabytes per second on a device like this. So that's what you're paying for. You're paying that 139 bucks, so you can get 28, 2,900. I've seen people get up to 3,000 depending on drives. I've only tested this Western Digital drive, and that's a cheap drive, but it works incredibly well. So, I mean, I recommend that, but and I'll have links to it in the description. But you, this works with a lot of different drives. If you check this out also in the description, it'll list a lot of the different drives for you there. But overall, it's just a quality product, and I've had zero problems with that. And you can add a ton of storage. You can do two terabytes in there, and even more than that, I think. So if you need to add storage to that 15-inch, definitely check this out. All right, so I want to wrap up the video. So I just wanted to give you a showcase of products I think are really good for the 15-inch MacBook Air. Um, again, a lot of these are more premium products. I did show you the Mini Super Hub and the bag that are, you know, I think the bag's around 40 bucks or so. So overall, these are not, you know, it's a good mix of products, but it's just quality stuff. So if you're looking for any of these things, right, definitely consider these because these are some of the best I've ever had, the best I've literally tested. But I mean, again, I'm not doing tests here. I'm just showing you a product showcase because that's what I do in my channel. I don't have the time to test everything for years and stuff. I, don't, I can't tell you it's gonna last eight months or a year, but what I can tell you is initially, it's been all positive with these things and they've worked really well on the 15 inch, 13 inch, all different MacBooks. It works just really well and I just have to, you know, just wanted to showcase them for you. So anyway, subscribe if you can, help me make more videos like this if I can. And I have over 550 videos on all Apple related stuff on my site, so check that out. And we'll talk to you in a few days. Peace.